everybody, Jason Burmis here. And yesterday, I had something happen that has never happened to me in the 13 plus years of having a YouTube channel. With over 1,600 videos, I have never had one of my videos flagged for inappropriate content and then just completely removed. Now, remember, I've been doing this a long time. Um, several of my documentary films are on YouTube, uh, a couple on this channel in a re-upload fashion, a.k.a. Invisible Empire and Fabled Enemies. Uh, obviously, a lot of you that have followed me um, not only throughout these past few weeks and months, uh, but over the past year, know that I've been talking about, for instance, coronavirus and COVID-19 almost since its uh, beginning. It's first joking about it in, in a walk and talk and thinking, you know, this wasn't it and being wrong, being a human being. It happens. None of that stuff's been taken down. Um, the only other stuff I've ever really had censored is when you couldn't say uh, Erica Caramello Bar's real name. Uh, that would be the quote-unquote whistleblower in uh, the Ukrainian disaster that just, again, doesn't get brought up anymore. Um, because, you know, th there might have to be, you know, some repercussions. <laughs> some repercussions for the fact that you demonized the president for trying to cut a deal for a prosecutor to look at obvious crime. For the guy that you installed as a puppet who can barely speak. These are realities, okay? And uh, the iron clamp of censorship is only going to get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And I would imagine as fired up as I was yesterday, and by the way, let's see some people over in the comment section. Love to see that. I love you guys. Oh, there's Gritch. There's Bailey. How we doing, Scott? Two of my mods. Two of my best supporters. Oh, and I'm wondering, you know, I, again, I was really fired up. I don't think that was it. I don't think that was it. I really think it was the governor video. Now, if anybody else can find me an uncensored version of the uh, governor of New Jersey getting told to go F himself and it not being censored and on YouTube, I'd love to see it. I think that the, the algorithm went out early that anybody that posted that video, at least with the curse words in it, would just automatically get taken down. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just too hot to handle. Maybe a great resistance shouldn't be talked about. Maybe you can't mention the Great Reset unless you're ready to lick boots about it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I'm putting it out there. That's how I feel, and that's why the platform that I'm alive on right now, Rockfin, is so important because if I am booted from YouTube... You guys know where I'm going to be, okay? So with that being said, let's kick off today's show. And let's keep calm and carry on. Not for royalty, not for a bloodline, but for ourselves. You know, so we can get this information out to others. Because what I'm about to read to everybody should be alarming, but not surprising to the Burmese Brigade that's been paying attention to Operation Warp Speed, to Moderna and AstraZeneca and the side effects and the different types of vaccines. Okay? But you got to be real careful because this one is definitely getting a post over on the U-Tizzy. Okay? Definitely going there. And I'm not an authoritative source. And they've changed their rules so much that I'm, I'm going to go verbatim. Verbatim on this CNBC article as calmly as I can, pointing other facts out. You know, I guess it's tough out here when New York uh, Governor Cuomo, the capo himself, is getting international Emmy Awards because he is a bad actor, folks. That's, that's what he is, right? They know that. When the facts aren't the facts. When the facts aren't the facts, it's tough to tell you what facts are the facts. Right, Big Tech? And I wish I was being silly and I wish I was being ironic, but this is the Orwellian language we have been dealing with for some time and continue to deal with. 
Guys, this is how we're doing it, five, 10, $15. It does mean the world to me. Without you, I would not be able to, you know, function. We got about a week left. May not hit the goal. I'm hoping to at least hit uh, the $4,000 goal. I'm really going to push uh, towards the weekend to hit at least the $4,000 goal. We're going to kick out a lot of videos today. I'm looking to do maybe a little bit of work in my other studio and uh, possibly get some interviews for the day as well. I want to thank all you guys that have been riding along for the Burmese Brigade. There's been a lot of long-form content uh, the last couple days via the JFK assassination and uh, the podcast I did with uh, Jeffrey and uh, Justin. And of course, uh, the Slow News Day uh, podcast that I did with uh, Jared Beck and Glory and uh, Steve, of course. So, you know, there, there's a lot out there to, to go through for history lessons. And Rockfin's another thing. Listen, we got almost 8,000 uh, followers over on Rockfin. I'd love to break 10,000. You know, we do it live and free and a little bit wild sometimes. Uh, over at Rockfin, 11 a.m. Monday through Friday. And this platform, guys, I haven't checked this morning. I don't know that I want to, but uh, I've talked about how uh, the Ray token, which I get paid in, which is a subsidiary of Ethereum, has been holding strong at about um, between 90 and a dollar 05. It hit a buck 11. Uh, it's holding strong last night around a buck 10. And Ethereum going up over $600 and Bitcoin going towards $1,900. Rockfin lets me be a part of their network and then pays me intrinsically valued in the network token. That's not just based on imagination or not even just your watches and the popularity. That's part of it. But again, it's through actual monetary transactions of premium. Why do you think there's no um, ads on these things? Because this isn't an ad-based market. So I think it's a uh, brilliant competitor for YouTube, and I think it actually has... A, a business model that can uh, that can continue. And again, if I'm kicked off of YouTube for whatever reason, again, I didn't get a warning. They they said I could appeal it, but I I don't think I can. <laughs> I, I haven't looked too much into it. I don't know that I'm going to appeal that one because I feel like just like when I appealed the um, Louis Gomer saying Caramello Bar's name, I never saw. That wasn't even taken down. That was just restricted globally. So it was private and I'm the only one that can watch it. Never did I get a response on that. Never. And that's got to be almost a year ago, if not a year ago. Probably a year ago. Probably over a year. No response. Guys, I can't get a response on a thumbnail that they took down arbitrarily. You know, and they just say, we don't care. F you. No big deal. We can now monetize your content, by the way, and not pay you. That's a new terms of service on YouTube. They can monetize all content and not pay you a dime. It's not a monopoly. Sure. Sure it's not. Guys, remember, I also am a documentary filmmaker. Loose Change Final Cut, Fabled Enemies, Invisible Empire, and New World Order Defined, and Shade the Motion Picture are free in the playlist section. So let's get to it. Let's do it, do it, do it, to it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this as calm as possible. Uh, I don't know that I want to read the uh, headlines because we'll just go through the article. But we will read the uh, big headline. Doctors say CDC should warn people... The side effects from COVID vaccine shots won't be a walk in the park. Now, again, with something where whenever you've tested a randomized population in this country, it's 90 plus percent asymptomatic. Now you want to get people sick? They're telling you they're going to get you sick. I'm trying to be calm about it. We talked about this with... Um, the, the, Bill, the Bill Gates interview, maybe we're going to do a watch along again with that, where they were saying in the Moderna studies that 80% of those who took the vaccine had side effects. That was after the second dose. And 100% of the ones that took the hot second dose um, had side effects. Right? And Bill Gates tried to be like, oh, they were just a little pain in the arm. That's not true. It went well beyond that for some people. And now they're rolling out a little bit more of the truth for you. We're going to remain calm, though. Okay, we're going to keep calm and carry on. Public health officials and drug makers must be transparent about the side effects people may experience after getting their first shot of coronavirus, vaccine your first shot. There's zero chance that you're booping my arm. I'm trying to remain calm. Why would I want to get sick? 
<laughs> Why would I want to get sick? For who? Because you told me to get sick? Doctors urged during a meeting Monday with the CDC advisors as states prepare to distribute doses as early as next month. Dr. Sandra Freihofer, the American Medical Association, noted that both Pfizer's and Moderna's COVID-19 vaccines require two doses at varying intervals. Boop. See you in a little while. Boop. Hmm. No. As a practicing physician, she said she worries whether her patients will come back for a second dose because of the potentially unpleasant side effects they may experience after their first shot. Really? Oh, wow. So you boop me once, it makes me sick, and then I don't want to get booped again. It's so weird. That's so, that's so odd that human beings that would just roll their sleeves up the first time say, you know, everything's going to be okay. All right. I'm gonna going to listen to my government. Can't wait for this to be over. And then they're like, oh, 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 I've got chills. Well, I've got a fever. Those, see, those were the side effects. And remember, what, what do people that have symptoms that aren't asymptomatic with this have? They have chills. They have fever. Hmm. We really need to make more patients aware that this is not going to be a walk in the park, Freihofer said during a virtual meeting with the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices, or ACIP an outside group of medical experts that advise the CDC. She is also a liaison to the committee. They are going to know they had a vaccine. They are probably not going to feel wonderful, but they've got to come back for the second dose. Hmm. Got to come back. Got to, got to, got to. Participants in Moderna's and Pfizer's Corona vaccine trials told CNBC in September that they were experiencing high fever, body aches, bad headaches, day-long exhaustion, and other symptoms after receiving the shots. Those are the same symptoms that they list for coronavirus, COVID-19-84. Okay? And remember when Bill Gates does that interview, he's like, oh, most of it was just a little pain in the arm. That's all. <laughs> While the symptoms were uncomfortable and at times intense, the participants said they often went after a day, sometimes sooner, and that it was better than getting COVID-19. How would you know? Did you get COVID-19? Were you tested prior for the antibodies? Are they going to test people that are taking the vaccine prior for the antibodies? Because you would think if they have the antibodies, then they don't need the shot, do they? Huh. Now, how come that's not in any of these articles? I got to keep calm about that. It's weird. It's weird. But hey, we're reading authoritative sources here. Both companies acknowledge that their vaccines could induce side effects that are similar to symptoms associated with mild COVID-19, such as muscle pain, chills, and a headache. <sighs> One North Carolina, Carolina woman in the Moderna study, who was in her 50s, said she didn't experience a fever but suffered a bad migraine that left her drained for a day and unable to focus. She said she woke up the next day feeling better after taking Excedrin, but added that Moderna may need to tell people to take a day off after a second dose. Really? If this proves to work, people are going to have to toughen up, she said. Oh, now we have to toughen up. Toughen up. Roll up your sleeve for the little boop boop. You want my kids to take this? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm blown out of the water. And, and you know what? This story is going to be completely marginalized. You're going to be a kook for posting it. It doesn't matter who the sources are, who they're quoting. As they're admitting to tell you, you're going to have fever, 
body aches, pain. It may be so bad you don't want to come for a second dose. My goodness. Got to stay happy. Happy, 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 Jason. Let's not get crazy, crazy, crazy. During the meeting on Monday, Patty Stinchfield, a children's Minnesota nurse practitioner, said officials and drug makers could try making uh, or st- could try talking about the side effects in a more positive way. Positive. Let's talk about those side effects in a positive way. <laughs> you know what I love talking about in a positive way? When, you know, I get my head bashed in and I'm still conscious and there's only a little bit of blood. I'm like, wow, at least I'm not unconscious bleeding to death. Let's, let's think of it in a positive way. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Hmm. And this is the, the children's Minnesota nurse practitioner. Oh, my God. She said they could use language such as response instead of adverse reaction. Do you see how Orwellian the article is already? Do you see what PR propaganda means? This is public relations. When they tell you, wait a minute, adverse reaction, adverse reaction, and now you understand that it could be migraines, body aches, headaches, fever, chills, all the things that the coronavirus supposedly gives you, right? 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 And now instead of saying adverse reaction, we'll just say you get a response to it. Really? Isn't the response supposed to be that I don't have to wear a mask anymore? Oh, no, that's right. Tony Fauci said that's not what the response is going to be. Isn't the response going to be that I can go back to the old? No, you want a new normal. That's right. Damn it. That's not the response. It's unreal that no one's talking about this. Okay? These are immune responses, said Stinchfield a past voting member for the committee. And if you feel something after vaccination, you should expect to feel that. When you do, it's normal to have some arm soreness or even some fatigue, some body aches, or maybe even a fever. It sounds like in some of these trials, maybe even having to stay home from work. You shed the virus. They're giving you the virus. Twice. Twice. And again, we're going to watch this one later. But in that Bill Gates interview, again, about the Moderna studies, he says, we don't know if these will cause mortality rates to go down. We don't know if these will actually prevent the virus from infection. Okay, so this, this vaccine, let's get it straight, isn't even about stopping you from getting infected. What he says it is, is to build the antibodies for several months or longer to fight it. They're saying this is going to be a roll, preparing, I shouldn't say saying, preparing you for a rolling vaccine that is annual like the flu shot. A double dose of getting you sick. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? That's, that's the reality as I calmly read through this. Okay, I wouldn't want you to take my videos off YouTube. Just took it off yesterday. And by the way, thank you, Rockfin, for allowing me to be the great resistance. Hasn't been taken off of Twitter yet either. We'll see. You hear some people in the trials that are disappointed that they didn't have any of those things, feeling they must have gotten a placebo. <laughs> They're so disappointed they didn't get sick from the thing that was supposed to make them better. <laughs> I live in a bizarro world every single day. Every single day. The FDA process is expected to take a few weeks. And an advisory committee meeting to review a vaccine has been scheduled for early December. Some Americans could get their first dose of the vaccine in about a month. And remember, Cuomo says it's going to take at least six months for his state to hit critical mass. And when Fauci tells you these vaccine for critical mass, he wants over 90%. Over 90% he wants to take it. And remember, the New York State Bar Association has already put it to paper and passed it 
that it will be a mandatory vaccine if they don't hit critical mass. We've covered it here. You think they're you you think 90% of New York? Let's do the math on that one. That's 20 million people. That's 18 million people out of 20 million that are supposed to roll their sleeves up for you. You think that's happening in upstate New York? Listen, I don't know how many zombies you got left down in, in New York City after the crime has popped off. After shootings are way up, violent crime is way up, murders are way up. I don't know how many people are still left there believing you, Cuomo. But let's say you got the full 10 million out of 10 million, not going to happen, of the city in Long Islanders, right? Please, please. But you did that. Now you only need 8 out of 10 million instead of 9 out of 10 million. Upstate, good luck. Good luck with your grand illusion. There's already people in Buffalo throwing your health department out, throwing the sheriffs out, saying, go get a warrant. And that's what we need to do. Do I dare say that? Do I dare say we have a constitution and bill of rights? I don't know. Could get pulled from YouTube. Trying to remain calm. Want to keep reading. The committee meeting comes three days after Pfizer and its partner, BioNTech, uh, applied for an emergency use authorization from the FDA for the coronavirus vaccine. The FDA process is expected to take a few weeks, and the advisory committee meeting and the review of the vaccine has been scheduled for early December. Some Americans, oh, I'm sorry, I already read that. Um, let's see, there's the distribution. Federal agencies are already sending vaccination plans to staff. Five agencies have started telling employees that they could receive Pfizer's or Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine in as little as eight weeks. So, let's talk about that. If you work for a large bureaucracy, uh, anywhere in the government, if you work for the military, you're going to be targeted as somebody that is mandated to take this. If you are an essential worker by their terms, which is an Orwellian term in the first place, as we are all essentials and they do not get to tell us who gets to work and who gets to, you know, starve to death. They've already put eight plus million people into poverty since May. And those are low numbers. And we've went over them, okay? And again, I'm staying as calm as possible, but this is madness. So now you're making eight bucks, nine bucks, 12 bucks, 15 bucks, doesn't really matter as a greeter at Walmart or as a cashier. And they're going to say mandatory boop, boop. You're in the military. Like I said, mandatory boop, boop. Oh, you work in a hospital, mandatory boop, boop. Doesn't matter if you've been a nurse on the front lines of this since the beginning and clearly either uh, developed an immunity to it or your immune system has fought it off. Right? Maybe if you've even gotten it and developed the antibody, it's not going to boop, 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 mandatory. And of course, you're going to see things uh, pushed for uh, services, saying you're not going to be able to go here or there. They've tested the waters with that Ticketmaster story. Ticketmaster came out and said, oh, we're not doing that. But <coughs> you saw uh, exactly, uh, you know, what, what happens with the pushback. Denmark said no. Denmark said no. Imagine that. They got out in mass. They tried to mandate vaccines and Denmark said no. And Boris has been warned there will be clashes in the street if the coronavirus vaccine is compulsory. No shit. You think there might be? We showed you the German clashes just about the lockdown that you're not seeing on the, uh, the mainstream media. And if you don't think that more of this is going to happen, not only with people's businesses, but with the boop boop, we're going to play it again. Because I, I think that this is so important. To play. I, I'm playing it all the time. I played it on Mixed Martial Mindset last night. You need to play this for your friends. Because this is what you need to do with someone from the health department comes in without a warrant. Okay? And they might bring the sheriffs like she did. She brought the sheriffs. And the sheriffs think they're going to be siding with her. Now, if anybody's ever seen my old school airport video from Albany um, Airport with uh, Sheriff uh, Stan Lenick. Stan Lenick is a man of the people and defends my free speech. <laughs> and the authoritarian that wants me arrested can't believe that's how the Constitution and Bill of Rights work. He's taken aback. It's almost like a magic trick to him. And these sheriffs at one point understand, wait a minute, she doesn't have a warrant. They are telling her to leave. 
this is private property, you have to leave. <laughs> and it's like, wow, no kidding. No kidding. And, you know, if you think that this is just one, no. There, there are people rising up now. Okay? Sheriffs say no way to Cuomo's order banning gatherings of 10 or more. They're done in upstate New York. Fulton County Sheriff, Saratoga County Sheriff, we need them all. We need you all. Montgomery, what are you waiting for? Okay? All of you guys. Oneida County, everybody. Okay? Do you get it? Broome County. Now, now, now is the time to push back so that when you show up to places like this, you're the hero and not the villain. These people actually work for their money and they don't want to lose their livelihood. I've lost friends, Call I've lost family power. who killed themselves. I've seen clients die because they've lost their livelihood. I'm sorry to hear that. I know you are. And I'm just a pale, I'm asking for you to guys have yeah, some compassion life. for the people that have lost everything. We do have compassion for people who Okay, well, you need to go have compassion out in the parking lot. But this is private property. This is, this is private property. This, this is private property. Yes, it is. It's private property. Go I get a warrant. Listen, man, this is private property. They're not wanted here. So do your jobs. Well, her job is... You well, no, no, your job is to remove people that are not wanted here. Now, let's stop. Now, at first, Mr. Maskey, sheriff, the canine unit, goes, well, her job is... And he goes, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Try not to get too excited. We're trying to keep calm. You know, read authoritative sources. But notice how, again, this woman really has no power, no authority. She has a dictate from a wannabe gangster who's getting awards from Hollyweird. Okay? Oh, the International Emmy Award. I mean, I... It's, again, we live in such wild-ass times that it's hard to believe that this is happening, but it is. But it is. And now you get to see in action, live time, live time, this sheriff going, well, you know what? Guess what? It is my job to get her out of here. Have a We're wanted here. Department. They're not. You She's have a hiding her name tag. I'm not. Name it's right there. there. It's right there. there. You can see my name They're just doing their job. There we go. You should all be wearing masks. How come I'm not doing anything have wrong. They're just doing your job. You should all be wearing masks. How come you're not wearing masks? This is the sheriff pleading at this point before he has to turn it all around. There is no law. Get out. Don't worry about my health. My health is in you're, your concern. You're meant to be wearing a mask. It's a government. Okay, well, then write me up. It's the law. Okay, then, but then, then take me to jail. It's not the law. It's a government mandate. There are differences. I know maybe... YouTube doesn't want to tell you there's a difference. And authoritative sources don't want to tell you there's a difference. But I assure you, as you watch the rest of this video, there damn well is a difference. And that's why that woman gets escorted out by the sheriffs. It's not the law. Then take me to jail. Show me the law. Show me the law. Show me the law. Well, I think we gotta go, Ken. I think we gotta go. You guys have to leave. You guys have to leave. Right now you're trespassing without a warrant. Right now, you're trespassing without a warrant. Damn straight. It's pretty easy. Pretty easy. Mass civil disobedience now. We're not trespassing. We're not trespassing. You're trespassing. Doesn't matter. We have a right to be. Get a warrant. Go get a warrant. Bring a warrant. Go get a warrant. Yes, you do. Come back with a warrant or leave. Don't write the law. Outside. No. Go on your phone outside. Go on your phone outside. I would really like it if you stopped shutting down. Where did you hear a report? And I would really like it if you stop shutting down people's businesses and impressing them, ma'am. I haven't done anything. No, you're part of the brown shirt movement now. Either you are with the people arm in arm against this outright indicative authoritarianism or, or, or you're this lady getting kicked out. You're part of the problem. So either get with the program that we don't need to shut our businesses down, that you don't need to intimidate us, that we can have our family over for Thanksgiving. You know, I had, you know, this alumni... You know, I have so many people that are down in Long Island and so damn brainwashed by this whole thing, this whole system. They're ready to roll over again and again and again. And they're talking about how, 
oh, there's outbreaks and you shouldn't have people over for Thanksgiving. I'm like, please come over. Right now, listen, any of you ITK guys need a place to, to go and you're in the Quad City area, please come on down. Bring your family. You know, I'm going to be having it with my family. I'm disappointed. I invited my stepfather in from Florida and he's so cooped out about this. He thinks, oh, well, we're, we're going to be waiting before all this crazy stuff ends to, to come visit. And I'm like, I don't know that this crazy stuff's ending, man. Not unless we fight back. Not unless we kick women like this out of here. Out of here. So watch it. Okay, we were looking for that right now. We were looking for that right now. Who reported it? Who reported it? Who reported it? You know what? I don't know. It's anonymous. I don't know. We live in a snitch society now. They set up random random numbers where random people can just call and say, oh my goodness, they don't have masks on. Oh my goodness, they're not social distancing. This is people tattling on one another. This is this has been promoted from the outset. Okay? And remember, Joe Biden wants to hire a hundred thousand contact tracers and in his own words, for COVID-19 and other health issues. You thought this was about one virus? You thought this was about one boop? The boop and it boop. It ain't about any of that. It ain't about any of that. It's about a great reset. It's about a transhumanist automation nation UBI slave agenda. So get with the fucking program. And I shouldn't have cursed. And I got a little emotional. But I'm going to keep calm and I'm going to carry on with this video. Yeah, it's anonymous, it's anonymous, right? Yes, it's anonymous. It is, it can't be anonymous. Complaint. You need it to know your accuser. You need to know it cannot okay, be anonymous. Okay, you gotta go get a warrant. It cannot be anonymous. You gotta go get a warrant. You don't get the right get the policies. You don't get to violate the Constitution. It does not matter. You don't circumvent or subvert the Constitution. Okay, Meth, you. That's right. You don't circumvent or subvert the Constitution. You are. You do have a right to know your accusers. Imagine that. You know, people get so hyped up and really, unfortunately, ignorant, brainwashed, liberal children. Okay. And I, and when I say children, I'm talking about the, the, the mid 20 somethings that thought they got an education that don't understand that that constitution and bill of rights protects them more than anything, no matter what their color is. Okay. No matter what their gender is. No matter if they choose to identify as a fucking crayon. I gotta stop with the, with the cursing, my God. Okay, they don't get it. <laughs> they don't get it. But this is the power of that document. This is the power of a free humanity. And you gotta get behind that. You need to leave. Get out. Get out. And they're not the only business doing it. We got protests going around, uh, uh, on around uh, that entire area. And remember, they're putting you into poverty. They're putting you into poverty. This is on purpose. You have a right to fight back. You have a duty and an obligation, not only for yourself, okay? I don't know if you're spineless like a jellyfish, okay? But how about your kids? How about your friends? How about your family? How about the person you wake up to, uh, wake up next to every day? How about them? How about all of us? How about that's the collectivism we should work towards? What is independence and freedom? Imagine that. But no, we'll just give Cuomo a raise. <laughs> despite the $63 billion budget deficit, despite the cutting of the sanitation department, so, despite that the police have literally, you know, had their hands tied behind their backs and you've got babies getting ripped off the streets from women. We've covered the story, a two-year-old, and it took 30 minutes before it wasn't even law enforcement that showed up. Thank God there was a group of people there. And thank God one of the guys knew Brazilian jiu-jitsu and held the man down for 30 minutes. Cops still didn't come. It was mental health professionals. This guy's getting the budget. He gets the raise. And you know what? $25,000 to him is a few fancy dinners like the guy over in uh, New Jersey. That's all. It's just a little bit more cheese. For my meatballs and my daughter, no big deal. 
you know, at $25,000, that would even pay uh, a lot of people's rent in the city. Sure, you're living in like a, a one-bedroom shitbox for that kind of price. You think I'm kidding, two grand a month or something? But they could pay it. You know, and this guy, he just going to, it means nothing to him. It, it's just, what it is, is another F you, I'm better than you. I'm the guy. And you're my slave. Well, as you can see, more and more people are saying no. They're saying no, 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 no. So I think later what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get that Gates footage um, about Moderna. We're going to couple that with that CNBC article and a few other articles about this vaccine rollout. Because I think it's really important that we focus on that. And we focus on the great resistance. And, and I'm not putting that by the wayside, guys. You know, I just know that there's so much to do and there's so many obstacles out there and there's so many people that I still need to reach out to, okay? So with that being said, I think I'm going to wrap it up before, I think I'm going to post this whole one on YouTube because we remained calm. You got it here first over at uh, The Rockfin. And uh, I, I don't know what you guys think, but we're trying to do it several times a day. And we're only doing it with your help. And uh, $5, 10 $15, big donors, you mean the world to me. If you like information like this, if you want to see more information like this, number one, make sure that you have that Rockfin account and you at least have a free one if you want to support me there. Remember, if you have a premium uh, account through anybody, say you don't want to support me. Say you want to support the Convo Couch and said, okay, Steve from Slow News Day. Okay, Action for Assange. Great. Nico House. I mean, there's plenty of people on this platform, agree or disagree, that you could also endorse, but you get everybody's content. And you got to start sharing this platform with others because I know people want to go to BitChute. And I understand that Minds is out there and there's Float and Parler and all these other social media platforms. And Parler's got a little bit of, you know, money behind it, right? But there's been Gab and all, you know, it's great. I think uh, Martin Florini is a really smart guy. I think that he has a unique platform and a unique idea. And because it is somewhat exclusive and you just can't make an account and he's built these type of platforms before, this is the one. So Rockfin, 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 11 a.m. live and exclusive Monday through Friday. Again, I want to encourage you to check out all the documentary films, Loose Change, Final Cut, Fabled Enemies, Invisible Empire, A New World Order to Find, and especially Shade the Motion Picture if you want to look at this bioengineering, okay, transhumanist, geoengineering, oppressive eugenics agenda, transhumanism, because we definitely get into it there, okay? So make sure to check that out as well. Guys, I absolutely love you. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're watching on YouTube, thumbs it up, subscribe, share, join the Burmese Brigade while we're still here, because they're pulling videos, guys. See you on the flip.